Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we have a quick GPU maintenance video. I want to find out if I can drop the temperatures of an Asus GTX 1660 single fan by giving it a good cleaning from the inside and applying new thermal paste, specifically Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I got this card with a whole USB PC a story for another video. If you know the channel though, that meant even if it's a baby single fan card, it needs to mine crypto for me. So I threw it in my box rig, which turned into a full Nvidia rig by now, and I noticed it getting hot. I usually don't get single fan cards, so this was the reason for this video. Can we lessen the pain and the heat of this card with a bit of cleaning and thermal grizzly? To orient where we start out, it's sitting at 75 degrees Celsius and right with the fans already up to 75%. I did not even start to tweak the card yet much. Just drew down the power limit, of course, and gave it a memory of 1000, which would be plus 500 in Windows. First of all, weirdly, the card does not want to go lower than 88 watts, even with a power limit of 70, and lower power limits give back an error. But anyway, we will leave the settings as they are so that we can compare later on. Out with it, and let's take a look inside. When you open a GPU, be sure to unscrew in a cross pattern to not have too much pressure on only one side. Be mindful of the cooler and fan itself. When all screws are gone, just wiggle the card free carefully. For cleaning itself, I use a trusty combo of 99% isopropanol alcohol and WD-40 contact cleaner, not the ordinary WD-40. By the way, let me know if you owned that card. The PC itself came from a tinkerer, but then again the system was pretty neglected. I'm curious if those thermal pad applications were custom, because if it was by Asus then a lazy job. If you can see it, the memory chips were not even fully covered, but on the inside it overlapped. So I ended up trying to spread the thermal pad a bit more, careful not to tear it or destroy it, as I had no replacement. This inspired me to definitely look into thermal pads too. Let me know if you have recommendations for future experiments. So cleaning it a bit from the inside, thermal pad spread a bit wider and then applying thermal grizzly. The paste is expensive compared to other compounds out there, but I have to say that in my whole tech career, I rarely did not see a big difference when using it. Also, it's non-conductive, so you basically could not overdo it, which is nice. For CPUs, I do an X. With GPUs, it is good to spread a little bit because you really want that chip covered and there is no chunky CPU cooler to spread it for you. After that, just plugging in our fan again and back on with the cooler. Also here, mind to tighten the screws again in a cross pattern. Don't overdo it on one side. That was quick, but it's also a tiny card. There were no big dust bunnies in there. I almost expected it with those temperatures. So let's get it back into the rig to see. Nothing changed in terms of setting, except that I had the other cards running in the meantime. So it should almost be warmer. But same power limit of 70, fan at 75% and no change in the minus 502 core and 1000 memory. And, and I did not fully want to believe my eyes at first. We are down almost 10 degrees folks. It did not go above 66 degrees Celsius anymore with those settings. Mind that we came from previously 75C and rising. Of course now I'm not 100% sure if that was the spreading of the thermal pad, the thermal grizzly alone or both, but I'm thankful either way. Maybe it could inspire you to take a look inside your card if it has been giving you problems. I expected a little improvement, but not that much. Again mind that the amount of improvement will depend on the age and the treatment of the card as well. This one was a quiet used and I have no idea how bad it was tortured. The old thermal paste though is a good indicator, in this card's case it was already pretty hard that means it had a hard life again this will be different case by case but again i've rarely not seen an improvement after good cleaning and repasting to reconfirm i started tweaking the gpus around it again then i also wanted to see if i can turn the fan on the 6060 now down too and indeed i could down to 65% fan and temperatures still stayed around 68 degrees celsius. Ultimately also I tried to get a bit more hash out of the GPU, so more memory overclock and the GPU never went above 70C again. While it mines fine, not as good as a TI or Super, but I won't complain. Generally I have to say though, if you are a miner, I would always spend the extra money to get a dual fan card at least. 
but hey, I have to say it was basically a free card for me thanks to a used PC flip, so no complaints about some mega hash more here. That's already it, a good old GPU maintenance video. It has been some time. Let me know what your favorite thermal paste is and if you have better options than Thermal Grizzly. I like GD900 in price to performance as well, but to my experience nothing comes close in pure performance. The Thermal Grizzly type we had was Cryon out by the way, as they have more variety in their pastes now and are also offering cheaper ones. I have not tested those yet, let me know if you did. That's already it folks, I call it a success. That was not much effort for solid results. Thanks for tuning in to each and every one of you. Good tweaking and maintenance to you folks. May your temperatures always be low. Happy mining and bye.